I don't know what's going on here, but it seems to me that there is some major controversy between transgenders and the field of sports. I took a crack at one of the people in the MMA in one of my videos. However, I skimmed over that because it wasn't part of the video. However, I'm going to take up I'm going to take the time to address that issue in this video. To be quite frank, I don't mind us going into the field of sports. In fact, it's very admirable. However, upon further research, I found out that maybe the field of sports is not for every trans individual. People are clamoring that they're trans individuals that should be barred from all sports because fairness. There's talk about that transgenders should be segregated similar to individuals of Special Olympics. Really. You're going to compare trans people to disabled people? Now, most of these people are focusing too much on the problem people without looking at the whole picture. Transgenders, I know for a fact, they can compete fairly in sports for the most part. But it depends on the person's body configurations. Generally speaking, women typically have an excellent track record in track and field sports because they genetically have stronger leg muscles and a lower body mass. Conversely, Men have a higher body mass and higher upper body strength. The science of transgenders has not, in fact, been perfected. However, instead of agreeing whether transgenders should be barred or not from all sports sports i take no sides into my position on this subject i suppose you can say that i have a sort of bipartisan solution now it's not as glamorous as some people on the conservative side are proposing But on the other hand, it'll allow people to still participate in sports. A give and take, as you will. So, here's my proposal. Sports that deal with higher body mass and strength 
like football, basketball, possibly, and MMA should be barred from those sports for transgender women. Conversely, transgender men should be barred from sports like cycling and track and field because of their biology. Now, before every transgender person out there gets all in a tizzy and sports fanatic gets all riled up, need I remind you that the science to transition trans genderism and body reclassification has not been perfected. What I'm proposing is not a forever thing. And for all you lawmakers out there, you better put a clause in there that says until science has perfected it. Because that's how long it's going to take. Someday, all trans women and all trans men will be able to compete in any sport. But, as it stands now, some of you will have to pack your shoes, your gloves, your shorts, and move on to something else. It stinks, I know, that there are actually people who could already accomplish such a feat, such as in competing in all sports. But, in order to prevent any kind of backlash or unfairness because of the lack of perfection, I think this is the way to go. Remember, ladies and girls, ladies and guys, have patience. We have a transgender head of health care. It won't be too long until your dream will come true. In the meantime, I implore you to perfect whatever skill or talent you could excel at further than just mere sports. Diplomacy, law enforcement, cooking, beauty, engineering. The options are endless for you. And since when did options become a bad thing? Sometimes when you make drastic changes in your life, it puts an end to some of the things that you love to enjoy. Whether it be a career or an activity. However, it's not the end of the world. You are tenacious. You have a creative mind. I'm sure you have a hidden skill or talent that you haven't seen yet. 
but don't despair or discourage. You have more to offer than what you think. And with that being said, Requiescat in Pacem.